dear students, we will solve one more problem here on final accounts of sole trader. This is video number 12 and the problem number 13. So, this is the trial balance of Ms. Rekha given on 31st 12, uh, 2020. So, this is a calendar year, not financial year. Okay, now we will look at the adjustments here first and then we will take the trial balance items. Stock on 31st 12, 2020 at the end of the year 10,000. This should be credited to trading account and again shown on the asset side of the balance sheet. Goods purchased on credit on 25th December 2020 for 6,000. They were not recorded in the books. At the end of the year, fag end of the year, goods were purchased but you forgot to make an entry. So it is nothing but credit purchase. Therefore, uh, the entry should be purchase account at her to sundry creditors. So it should be added to purchase account. 6,500 rupees should be added to purchase account. And again, 6,500 rupees should be added to sundry creditors on the liability side of the value chain. I repeat, in the trading account, 6,500 should be added to purchasers. And in the balance sheet, should be added to sundry creditors to the extent of 6,500. Debtors include 1,200 due from Mohan. Creditors include 800 due to Mr. Mohan. So here common transaction should be taken. Common transaction is 800 is due, 800 is uh, receivable. Therefore, 800 is taken as common transaction. So from the debtors, you have to deduct 800 rupees on the asset side. As a result, 400 will be, sorry, uh, 600... Now 400 will be there in the sundry letters further, still owing by Mr. Mohan. And on the sundry creditors, 800 should be deducted. So nothing is due to Mohan. So common value should be deducted. 800 or 1200, whichever is less. So 800 should be deducted from both debtors and creditors. The appreciate furniture and machinery 10% per annum. Actually, uh, Machinery 10% and uh, furniture also 10% per annum. But here thing is, furniture, yes, 3000. On that 5%, 10% it is 300. But machinery, say, see, uh, 26,000 is the total value at the end. Of that, 6000 is purchased in the middle of the year. If that is the case, depreciation is 26,000 minus 6,000, 20,000. That was there at the beginning of the year. So on 20,000 at the rate of 10% that you have to calculate. And then on 6,000 at the rate of 10% for half the year. That is from 1st July to 31st December. So 6,000 into 10% into uh, yes half because it is used only for half the year. So that we have to calculate the depreciation. Once you calculate the total depreciation on machinery, it should be debited to profit and loss account and it should be deducted from machinery on the asset side of the balance sheet. So also depreciation on furniture should be debited to profit and loss account and in the balance sheet furniture less depreciation. Leasel property for 10 years, that means the life is for 10 years. So it must be amortized, it's a hidden adjustment. So 40,000 divided by 10, that means 4,000. 4,000 should be debited to profit and loss account. And in the balance sheet, 40,000 minus 4,000. So 36,000 should be shown. Okay, now further, goods costing before that, charge interest on loan, mortgage loan, are 10% for full year, having regard to the fact that 1,000 was repaid on 1st July 2020. So mortgage loan here is uh, 6,000. So it is the balance. That means at the beginning of the year, the loan was 7,000 rupees. So you have paid 1,000 in the middle of the year. Now the calculation of uh, uh, interest is on 6,000 for full year at the rate of 12%. And on 1,000 you have to calculate at the rate of 12%, uh, but for half the year. 
that we have to calculate the interest on mortgage loan. So we have availed the loan, taken the loan because you see it is a credit balance. That means it is a liability. So you have borrowed the loan by mortgaging certain assets. Therefore, uh, uh, you have to calculate the interest and that should be debited to profit and loss. And the balance sheet, since it is to be payable, it will come to the liabilities side. And mortgage loan will appear on the liability side of the balance sheet. 6,000, what is unpaid as on 31st March, 31st December 2020. Goods costing rupees 4,000 per cent to a customer on sale or return basis on 30th September 2020. Okay, these were recorded as actual sales. The rate of gross profit was 25% cost. Actually, cost of the goods was 4,000, but recorded as actual sales. That means what is the selling price? It's not given, you have to calculate. 4,000 is the cost. Profit on cost is 25%. So 25% means one fifth, one fourth rather. 100, 25 by 100 is equal to one fourth. So one fourth of 4,000 is 1,000. So cost plus profit is equal to selling price. Cost is 4,000. Selling price is 1,000. So together 5,000. So 5000 was actually value of 5000 was treated as actual sales. That means the entry was debtor's account debtor to sales. Now you cannot take it as actual sales because say in the next month if the customers return the goods then whatever accounts you have prepared final account that will be misleading. And uh, that may not give you the true picture of financial position as well as profitability. So you cannot treat it as actual sales, so cancel it. What you have to do then, then what you have to do is, you have to, uh, yes. See, when you sell the goods, debtor's account debtor to sales. Now sales account debtor to debtors. From sales account, you have to deduct 5,000. And from debtors in the balance sheet, you have to deduct 5,000. Then how do you treat those goods? You have to cancel the sale. Earlier we have treated it as actual sales, but now we have cancelled it. Then where do you take the goods? That should be taken as the closing stock. But in the closing stock, you cannot take it at 5000 because that includes profit. Therefore, you have to show it at cost. What is the cost? It is given in the problem, 4000. So 4000 should be added to closing stock in two places. One is in the trading account and again in the balance sheet. So such a problem, such items are already explained in detail. Therefore, here I have calculated like this. Supposing they give rate of gross profit is say a 33 one third percent on cost. So 33 one third percent on cost is equal to 25 percent on cost. You cannot straight away apply 33 one third percent on sales on 4000 because cost uh, 4000 is cost, whereas uh, rate of profit is on selling price. So you have to convert that into cost. So 33 one third percent on cost is equal, selling price is equal to 25 percent on cost. So but of course here it is not like that. It is given on cost only. So straight away you can apply the percentage rather the rate 25 percent on cost. So 4000 into 25 percent that's one fourth that comes to 1000. Well that's, that's about adjustments. Look at the treatment of items. Capital will come to the balance sheet liability side. Cash in hand asset side. Bank balance is set aside, furniture fixed asset, balance sheet, machinery, yes. So totally 26,000, 20,000 plus 6,000, 26,000. Less depreciation, uh, which I have given it as a working note. So total depreciation should be deducted. Leasing property, 40,000 in a column, less amortization value, rupees 4,000. And then debtors uh, should be shown on, in the, on the liability asset side minus adjustment should be uh, deducted. Then adjustment must be made. Petty cash and asset, telephone charges, revenue expenditure, profit and loss account, office expenses, revenue expenditure, profit and loss account, purchases, trading account, less uh, credit purchases not recorded. Sales credit side of uh, trading account minus returns if any, salaries profit and loss account, wages trading account, 
fried charge. If nothing is mentioned, it should be taken as fried inverse. So it should be taken as trading account item. Import duty is also import of goods direct expense should be debited to profit and loss. Bank charges, if nothing is mentioned, it's a an item of profit and loss. Opening stock, 24,000, first item of trading account. Commission, here it is an income and therefore it is to be credited to profit and loss account. Outstanding salaries, it is a personal account, will appear on the liability side of the balance sheet. Loan on mortgage will be the liability side item and interest outstanding, that is also to be shown as an item of liability. Creditors is, is an item of liability. Okay, now look at the solution. Opening stock, purchases, add credit purchases not recorded. Now we are recording. Wages, freight charge, I told you, freight inwards, we have to assume 3200. Import duty to be taken as direct expense. Credit side, sales minus goods sent on sale or return basis. Selling price cost 4000 plus profit of 1000, 5000 should be and deducted. So one like 85000. Closing stock 10,000. To that, you have to add cost of the goods with the customers sent on sale or return basis 4,000. 4,000 is given in the problem. Otherwise, 5,000 minus 1,000 is equal to 4,000. So 14,000 is the uh, value of closing stock after adding cost of goods sent on sale or return basis. If you balance the trading account, what you get is 48,300, which is nothing but gross profit. So this is to be transferred to profit and loss account. In other words, profit and loss account is created by trading account with the gross profit of 48,300. Commission received is to be credited. Salaries, telephone charges, office expenses, bank charges all debited. Depreciation on furniture 10% of 3,300. Depreciation on plan and machinery and 20,000. How you got 20,000? 20, 26,000 minus 20, uh, 6,000. So you got 20,000. On the 10% per annum for the full year, so that comes to 2000 and then 6000 plant and machinery purchased in the middle of the year. We have to calculate the depreciation for the half the year so that comes to 300. So, together 2300 depreciation on leasehold property 40,000 and the life is 10,000. So, proportionately, we have to calculate for each year, so that comes to 4000. Interest on mortgage loan, so 6,000 is still balanced, so at the beginning 7,000 was outstanding mortgage loan, of that 1,000 you have repaid in the middle of the year, so on 6,000 for the full year you have to calculate the interest, that is on 1,000 you have to calculate for half the year, because in the middle of the year you have repaid, so it was used only for 6 months, so it comes to 60 rupees, totally 780. And if you total the profit and loss account, 53,300. And if you balance, the balance is 26,120, which is added to capital here. You just see here, uh, yes, 26,120, it's added to capital. Look at the balance sheet now, cash in hand, asset, petty cash, asset, bank balance, asset. Debtors 10,000 and sorry, less common transaction due to Mohan 800. Goods sent on sale or return basis, selling price 5,000. So net value is 4,200. Closing stock 10,000 and goods sent on sale or return basis, cost price 4,000, 14,000. Furniture 3,000, less depreciation 300 at the rate of 10%, 2,700. Machinery 26,000, depreciation. We already shown in the uh, trading profit and loss account. So 2300 in total, so that comes to 23,000 after deducting 2300. Leasehold property 40,000 minus depreciation of 400, which you arrived by dividing 40,000 by 10. So the net value of leasehold property is 36,000. Outstanding salaries, it is a personal account, will be a liability. Interest on mortgage loan 780. And creditors 88,000 and additions which is not recorded in the purchases book. So 6,500 together 4,500. But that is a common transaction amount uh, due to Mohan and amount due by Mohan. 
So 800 is a common value. So here 800 is deducted. Here also 800 deducted. So 13,700. Then loan on mortgage, the principal amount 6,000. And then capital 50,000 given the trial balance to that you are adding and profit. So no drawings here. Okay. So by this I have completed the problem. So thank you very much.